March has arrived and it's time for some new games. Hey everyone, this is James and welcome back to my channel, Down to Top. Today I'm back with the top best new games for the month of March. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting at number 10, we have Era Combat. This is a first person shooting game like Call of Duty Mobile or Warface Global Operations where you play three versus three, player versus player matches on a battleground. The game offers you a variety of sci-fi weapons and some unique abilities, like a jetpack and defense shield system, which make this game unique. There are two maps available in the game and the graphics are decent. However, there is no option to change the graphics settings, but maybe this will change in a future update. Overall, it's a good FPS game that is out now. You should definitely consider it if you like FPS games. Moving on to number 9, we have Pico Tanks. This is a 3 vs 3 brawler where multiplayer matches are fast paced and intense. The game demands that you work successfully alongside your team in order to repel enemy attacks and claim victory. Three game modes are currently offered, including Hold the Flag, Fetch the Cargo, and Team Deathmatch. A big part of the experience is customizing your tank to make it unique to you. There's an impressive assortment of weapon types to pick from, including snipers. And on top of that, you get to choose between an assortment of different body styles, armor types, and power-ups. At number eight, we have Sky Combat. This is an online military fighter plane game where modern jet planes, dangerous opponents, and serious aerial action are all waiting for you. In this game, you will have the opportunity to fly a plane, shoot down fighters, and win in intense player versus player battles by destroying all enemies. Immerse yourself in epic air battles to become a master of sky combat. Arriving at number seven, we have Orphan Black. This is a turn-based adventure puzzle game based on the hit BBC America television series, Orphan Black. The game chronicles the mystery surrounding a sesterhood of clones who find themselves part of a global conspiracy that is pushing the boundaries of experimental science technology and ethics. Players guide their favorite clones through a series of challenging puzzles set in the Orphan Black world. There are 10 worlds with over 80 levels filled with puzzles and traps, all with beautiful third-person isometric art. So if you like turn-based adventure games, then give this game a shot. Moving along to number six, we have Slap Kings. This is a fun arcade style game where you travel around the world slapping all kinds of opponents along the way. Yes, the competition basically consists of taking turns slapping each other until one of the two players gets knocked out. The harder you slap, the more likely you are to win. All you have to do is tap on the screen at the right moment to inflict the maximum amount of damage possible. During your opponent's turn, on the other hand, all you can do is wait for the blow. If you survive, then it's your turn again, and so on. Arriving at number five, we find Machinite Blood Bagos. This is an action RPG game where you have to engage in massive battles with enemies from all sides before facing a huge and intense boss. There are three distinct characters in the game. One is Lancer, who specializes in close-range combat. The second is Musket, who specializes in ranged combat. And the third is Flame, who copes with different situations using complex abilities. to number four, it's Hillside Drive Racing. This is a high graphics car driving game like Hill Climb Racing, where you'll have to climb your car uphill and take your driver through a series of challenges while dealing with realistic in-game graphics. There are a variety of vehicles available to play, like a tractor, car, minivan, Jeep, and even a supercar. Right now, this game is available for pre-registration on Play Store, but you can also download it through APQ Pure. The link is in the description. Closing in on number three, we have Knighthood. This is a role-playing game where you explore a rich, fantasy-based RPG world. 
In this jester-driven combat game, you must level up your knight to battle goblins, beasts, and undead creatures as you delve deeper into a world of fantasy and mystery. The game has beautiful graphics and good controls, which makes it very easy to play with one hand. Moving up to number two, we have PC Football Legend. This is a dynamic arcade football game that is played in medium-sized fields with no fouls or offside whistles. This game is really much more in line with the old football games from the 90s. In addition, PC Football offers eight advanced stadiums and full customization of your team, from their country to their accessories. This game has nice, clean cartoon-style graphics with good controls. There's also in-game commentary. In short, this game is good and the graphics are decent. If you like soccer or more correctly football games, then I will gladly recommend you try out this game. Replay. Finally, at number one, it's Dragon Raja. Dragon Raja presents fans with a dynamic open world, combining stunning graphics that utilize the industry-leading UE4 engine. Along with rich lore, in-depth multi-dimensional character customization, massive player versus player battles, and real-time combat. It features multiple endings, and the NPCs will react differently based on the choices you make along the way. It also promises extensive character customization, with supposedly thousands of different combinations to make your hero feel like your very own. There will also be a mixture of PvE and PvP combat that plays out in real time, with servers that can reportedly support a large number of players all at the same time. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to click on the like button. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we put out videos every single week and we wouldn't want you to miss a single one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.